Hello friends, I'm Andrei from Ruski Airsoft Workshop and today I will be installing Gate Electronics Titan version 3 inside the standard uh, version 3 gearbox of an AK. So here I have a standard gearbox from LCT AK. It's already opened uh, and here uh, I have a box uh, of Gate Titan standard version, uh, so-called basic model that I will be installing inside this gearbox. So let's take a closer look at the Titan uh, package. This is a basic module which means that only the MOSFET itself and the Titan installation kit uh, are delivered. Uh, this is cheaper than the advanced set and advanced set has more uh, uh, items included in the box like a USB link for gate and a programming card. So inside the box we can see a quick start guide, the module itself with the wiring, universal wiring and the Titan installation kit. Installation kit contains several shims, washers, um, stickers and a set of connectors you might need uh, to finish the installation. Let me put this aside. The module itself is delivered like this, so it have uh, it has long enough wires to put in any uh, replica, and uh, I will not be cutting them, I will just install them as is to this gearbox and uh, afterwards offline when I will stop shooting this video I will probably match and uh, do a cable management for this specific uh, replica. So the Titan itself consists of two parts. This is the top part, this is the bottom part with all the wiring. And this will be installed in here. Uh, also a tiny remark, I will be using a gate PDF guide to install because this installation is my first of gate Titan version 3. First step, of course, before you install the Titan, you will need to empty the gearbox, remove everything and thoroughly clean the gearbox. Now we need to remove cut off, we will not need it anymore. And the selector, we will modify it a little bit later. So now I have an empty shell and I will do a quick cleanup because all of this uh, debris we will not need it and it may uh, influence the working of optical sensors of the gate. I have removed the old grease now I will just clean it with some methanol so we have a clean and degreased gearbox. Now we can proceed further with the installation of the module. Now we need to put the module inside the gearbox. Be careful. Let's just pull the wires. Right. 
and now we need to arrange the modular inside the gearbox. By pulling the cables over here and trying to fit the modular inside the gearbox. Okay, looks good. So now just be careful not to break the board. Now the board is sitting good. And we have to fix it now here with our uh, cutoff lever uh, screw and some washers from the kit. Let's go with 0 0.1 and see how it works. Just to center it a little bit for the view. Okay, it's fixed. Now we can proceed with the check of uh, the gear. The idea is to put the sector gear, connect the MOSFET to the PC, the gate control station and see how the sensor reacts when we turn the gear. To connect the Titan to the PC you will need a USB link from gate. Let's connect it like this. And then with the cable, micro USB cable, we can connect it to our workstation. You see the blue light meaning it is connected now i will need to rearrange my camera to show the display and the check itself so i have connected the titan to my pc and started the gate control station software what can we see here so here we can see the control station is connected to usb link and then to the gate titan v3 so the software has automatically detected that it is a titan version 3 firmware basic um, i have already updated the firmware of the usb link the version firmware version is 05 available previous version was 03 now it has 05 and the titan here has no available new version so the version 0.3 is uh, the current version from this we can go or we should go to the sensor uh, page and then turn our sector gear and we see here in the corner when the sector tooth passes the sensor the sensor light in the software is lighting The lights are blinking. So what we are interested in now is this sensor. So when I turn the gear, it detects the movement of the tooth. And then when there is no teeth, it just disengages the sensor. And the tool shows that the sensor is working good. So let me show you a closer look to the sensor. You see on the screen around the mouse, so this sensor is lighting up when the teeth of the sector gear are passing between the sender and the receiver of the sensor. In their manual, Gate recommends to do this test on the closed gearbox, so I just redoing the test. I closed the gearbox with two screws as recommended. And as I move the sector gear, I see the same result as before with the open gearbox, so the gear sensor is working fine.
So let's proceed with the trigger assembly. First of all, we will need to clean up this part, the one that was pushing the trigger, the contacts in uh, normal gearbox uh, configuration. Just thoroughly clean it with a solvent so it's degreased because we will need to apply some patches here the glue some patches here that are delivered together with the the installation set here inside also so now if you take a look you will need to add the patch to this side of the of this part the one that is going underneath when you install it in the gearbox so now we have here trigger stickers Just let me take one and apply it here Then I will need to take another uh, set of stickers. So we have three different thickness, uh, thicknesses of uh, these anti-backlash stickers. The idea is to fit them in here so your trigger is not wobbling there, it's just sitting uh, nice, firm, but still this movement is still fine, so you don't block this uh, trigger with a too thick sticker inside. Let me proceed with the 05, just to try to fit it inside and see how it moves. Slide it in, check, it's here is too tight so you see it's not getting in there it's not moving freely so 0 0.5 for this gun will be too tight put them aside let's try 0 0.3 and with 0 0.3 it's it is moving good and it has a very tiny wobble, almost none, but it will be probably too much to put a 0 0.15 here. So let me proceed further with one 0 0.3. This part is finished, so the sticker is here inside, and we have a trigger sticker here outside. The assembly is working good, there is almost no wobble, but still engaging smoothly Rota or better say rotating smoothly uh, next step according to the guide will be closing the gearbox and the step after that will be preparing your uh, selector plate let me proceed with the selector plate so everything is ready to do the to close the gearbox and then do the tests with the closed gearbox and selector assembly in place. So you need to degrease, of course, because we need to glue uh, a small sticker here. And as I can see from the guide, the sticker should be glued on the out uh, on the outer side. And the distance from this cut, the sticker will be going over here, uh, it should be about one centimeter here, so we have our stickers, so it should be glued like this, overlapping the window about 10 millimeters. So this is how it should be. I hope it's good enough. 
So you uh, uh, see here the sticker is covering the window about 10 millimeters. There are two more stickers, so if you haven't done it good from the first time, you always can uh, use another to, to redo this job. It will be easy, you don't need uh, to dismantle the gearbox, you just slide the, the selector plate off from the gearbox as there is no cutoff plate. So now I have put everything inside the gearbox, we only need to set the top part of uh, Titan. You do it as a really last step. So it's there, everything is there. Now we need to put the spring on the spring guide and close the gearbox. <laughs> gearbox is closed so let me put the screws connect the motor connect the wires and then we can check the working one more step that you definitely must not forget on the AK you have this pieces that uh, are connected to your fire selector so you must ensure that you it still can move here freely so you don't scrub the Titan PCB through this uh, hole through this window all right let me finish the assembly The cable management is for later. Now I would like to connect the wires and do the tests. The connectors are a bit tight, but it's good. On our selector plate that must go on this side of the gearbox. And then we will need to clean this a little bit and put the selector assembly here like this and like this so the gearbox is ready let me check the further steps of the procedure connect uh, the gearbox to my PC to the gate control station, rearrange the camera and we will see, we will do the tests, we will see how this thing is working. So as you can see I have connected the Titan via USB link to the gate control station. This is the gearbox, USB LED is green meaning it's ok and the gearbox and uh, the Titan unit is connected. Now let's go to sensors, we see the trigger sensor not calibrated and the selector sensor not calibrated. Now let's try the trigger calibration. Pull the trigger, hold the trigger, click next, release the trigger, press save. So it says calibrate, calibrated. Now we can try to adjust trigger sensitivity. So let me put 
the sensitivity in one and try this so as I understand this value here the sensitivity is actually the moment when here when the gun is firing so let's say if we put it on zero it firing immediately when it detects the, the movement of the trigger when we put it on like say 60 70 it will be engaging it will be firing when the trigger is pulled almost the half of the way now let's get to calibration the selector please select save well, let's start let's put it in save and choose the AK type switch selector isn't safe it isn't safe next switch to the auto it is on the auto next and then switch to the semi it is in the semi and pull next then back to the auto and save so this procedure you should do on completely assembled gun because now I'm doing it on the gearbox I can try to guess where the auto and the selector is selector plate is engaging so I will redo the calibration when the gun is completely assembled so for just for now I needed to test that the sensors are working and then I can calibrate it correctly and then proceed further with assembly of the gun so for me it's looking good now all sensors are working I thank you for watching this video I was talking a little bit too much but the main idea was to show you the result of this installation the result is there if you do everything carefully everything is working fine thanks a lot for watching this subscribe to our YouTube channel like us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram uh, more videos are coming it is good for today thanks a lot guys goodbye and as a postscriptum a small firing test I've just connected the 7.4 lithium lithium polymer battery let's see how the gearbox is working so let's put it on semi the red light is on good let's try to find the auto it's sensitive so you will need that's why I uh, said that you will need the, to do the calibration when the gun is completely assembled because you will need to know where this setting for auto firing mode is so and when it senses that the gun is unsafe the lights the leds are going off so the mosfet is also going off so next steps field trial okay thanks a lot guys bye